Hi guys, this is tabletnews.com and I'm here with the tablet called the Evolio Aria Mini. It's a Romanian tablet and the price tag is $240 for the Wi-Fi only version. This device has been launched recently, it has been launched in February and once again we're dealing with an affordable 8 inch tablet. So it's priced at $240, it's an 8 inch device, that's a fashion right now, every big company is launching 8 inch devices. Samsung is doing that with the Galaxy Note 8.0 and Evolio is doing that with the Evolio Aria Mini. We previously showed you the Evolio Aria, the original tablet that was the bigger version and this is the mini version, cheaper and smaller and more interesting. It comes uh, with a bunch of gifts like an 8GB memory card and a gift card for the EvoBook e-reading software on the device if you want to buy books but that's only locally. One important aspect of the device is the fact that it comes with five years of warranty which is a big deal for any device any modern device and now let's analyze the design so as you can see and as you can hear we're dealing with a plastic case it's not metal and the area at the bottom at the back tends to get a bit overheated after playing some games now let's have a look at the ports and slots and other orifices so we have the speakers right here big logos here camera at the top on off button and volume buttons and if you press it hard you really feel that it's going inside the case which it's not quite cool and now we have the full array of ports and slots on a single side so we have micro sd hdmi micro usb audio and charging port and of course a mic there's a frame around the screen of the device it surrounds it it's a metal frame keeping the whole thing uh, intact and if you want size, the device measures 9.5 millimeters in thickness and it weighs 450 grams, quite a bit heavier than the iPad mini that uh, has a similar diagonal, 7.9 inches compared to the 8 inches here. Overall it's a bulky device and once you press this button at the back you'll feel that the case tends to move a bit, which is uh, pretty bothersome. Other than that we got uh, very good grip on this device, it feels pretty solid in the user's hand and uh, it's not prone to scratches that's the important thing the back is not prone to scratches and the metal frame gives it a bit of solidity okay now let's as far as hardware goes let me just uh, do a listing for you inside this 8 inch device we have a rock chip rk3066 processor it's a dual core 1.5 gigahertz unit in case you're wondering and this tablet runs guess what it runs jelly bean Android 4.1.1 This display you see right here, it's an IPS capacitive multi-touch screen Its resolution is 1024 over 768 pixels And it's a 4 to 3 aspect ratio We got 8GB of storage and 1GB of RAM We have a micro SD card slot with support for up to 32GB of extra storage We've got Bluetooth, we got Wi-Fi as you can see right here, so here's Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, you can activate them both if you want and uh, micro USB port, GPS, mini HDMI and the battery inside this model should provide you 4 to 5 hours of use in our test it, lasts, uh, it lasted about 4 hours and a half, so 4-5 hours once again this model runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean meaning that it will have the speed of Project Butter and some of the cool elements like for example Google Now and this product also comes with a DVR kit with a traffic recorder and uh, now let me just show you the browser and virtual keyboard I always do that just to show you the experience so here's the comfy virtual keyboard this is the site of the um, tablet seller Evolio and now let me just load up tablet news Once again, pretty comfy keyboard, reasonably comfy, we're on Wi-Fi right now. And this is our website, loaded on the 8-inch display of the slate. Waiting for it to load so we can scroll around. So easy to scroll, do some pinch to zoom. And let's try some portrait viewing. The text is highly readable at this uh, resolution, so it's an OK device if you want to do some web browsing and other stuff like that. OK, um, now it's time for the audio test and for that I'm going to use good old YouTube. 
Okay, so let's access YouTube. I've already selected the song we're going to listen to in order to st test the speakers at the back. We're going to listen to a bit of dubstep. And let me turn up the volume to the max. The speaker is located at the back. Here it is. The thing is that when you turn the volume to the maximum, the tablet tends to vibrate just a bit. However, if a song has a voice where the voice is clear, the guitar is clear and the high notes are also very clear. The volume is pretty good, the tablet is pretty loud. And the speaker here, from what I understood, is 0.5 watt. It's got a good bass that you hear right now. And the volume to the maximum level, here it is. Okay, you get the idea. So, as far as the audio goes, aside from the vibration of the backside when listening to music, everything is okay. Good bass, good voices, good high notes, and good volume. Aside from the vibration, I've also seen vibration on big brands like uh, Motorola Zoom 2 tablet, so it's no big deal. Okay, time for the video testing. I'm going to play the Star Trek Into Darkness brand new trailer. Going to be interesting to watch. Let's find uh, an interesting one here. Of course, I'm going to go full screen this time to give you a better glimpse of the video quality of this display. And I'm going to turn the volume a bit lower. Since things can get pretty intense here. So we're dealing with an 8 inch display, as I said. It's got good brightness, good colors, and uh, the tablet supports Full HD MKV playback, in case you're wondering. The viewing angles, frankly, could be a bit better. Not the best I've seen. However, the colors are vivid. The image is clear. And the tablet is very bright, so right now we're at about, uh, let's say, 30% of brightness, and this is the maximum level. Once again, viewing angles, a bit of a bummer. I say that viewing angles are actually better vertically than horizontally. So if I do like this, I can still see the image, but if I do something like this, the image is not that clear anymore. Okay, so we're done with the video playback. The conclusion is that we got good brightness, good colors, not so good viewing angles, and I wanted a bit more, but I'm happy with the MKV playback, and I'm also happy with the support for Full HD playback on this tablet. Okay, now the last aspect of the multimedia experience is obviously this one here, the camera. So I'm going to start it up. So a 2 megapixel camera as shown right here. The resolution is 2 megapixels with a bunch of options like uh, scene mode, auto and night, exposure values and the white balance plus the usual storing location and the picture size. As you can see, we got the option to do some video capture. Don't expect higher resolutions or stuff like that. Once again, options for white balance, time-lapse interval, camera setting for storing location, and finally, a panorama option right here in the corner. I'm just going to take a quick snap of this little uh, ship that I have right here, and you can compare the image with the real thing. So we got the picture right here. And now we can compare it to this. Obviously the quality is lacking, but it's a 2 megapixel camera on a tablet, so what more could you want? It's a neglectable aspect, I keep saying that. Cameras on tablets are neglectable, on affordable tablets like this one at least. At least it's fast to snap pictures, I must mention that. So once again, here we go. Comes with Jelly Bean, the ability to snap fast pictures. 
so that's the only advantage I see when it comes to the camera and the fact that we have a panorama option is always welcome okay it's time for the benchmarks folks so I'm going to go to the gallery show you some uh, screenshots that I took and if you want to know I chose to compare this tablet to other 8 inch models from Romania this is the Evolio Aria Mini and I compared it to the Eboda X80 and the Allview TX1 all of them are similarly priced all of them have 8 inches in diagonal and this model actually has some very good scores so we've got 4426 points on the Evolio Aria Mini compared to the 4800 points of the Eboda X80 and the low score 2600 of the Allview TX1. Moving further, impressive score in Antutu on the Volio Aria Mini 11,000 points and uh, 363 compared to the 11,800 points of the Ebola X80 and the only 5,000 of the Allview TX1. Once again, all of them are 8 inch tablets. And here we go, Nanomark, we're testing the GPU here, an impressive 59.3 frames per second. It beats the Ebola X80 with 49 frames per second, and it beats the Allview tablet with only 15 frames per second. Finally, we got the Velamo benchmark where we scored 1649 points. We also beat the Ebola X80 that only got 800, and the Allview TX1 tablet that got 1000 points. And as far as browsing goes, we got browser mark 2.0 in which we scored 1647 beating the old VTX1 that only scored 1440 so overall this tablet is a winner when it comes to performance in benchmarks okay so other stuff worth mentioning is the fact that the battery of this tablet will take about two hours and a half to charge which is a bit uh, longer if you ask me so two hours and a half that will give you about four or five hours of use it's really not a very good performance. You must also know that the GPU inside this device is a Mali 400 MP and if you want to socialize we've got Twitter right here installing the basic Twitter client on the tablet and this is how your tweets are shown this is how your mentions are shown with a bit of lag obviously and in portrait mode yet another way socialize and to view what people are saying okay so this was the socializing aspect and then we got the applications that come installed on the tablet those applications include Google Maps luckily we have a GPS on this tablet not many tablets have GPS's and if you have a special cradle for your car you can actually use this tablet to navigate around it has just located me I'm going to zoom a bit show you a perspective of my area and thanks to Jelly Bean, the experience is not as laggy as I guess it would have been with ice cream sandwich. So pretty decent maps experience. And then when it comes to e-reading, we got a proprietary app called Evo Book offered by Evolio. There's also a gift card that allows you to buy some books for a cheaper price or for free even. Okay, so I'm going to pick this book, open it up. And this is the e-reading experience. Simply swipe. And now you should see some options. So let me keep the screen pressed. And I should trigger the options of the application. So you can leave a mark here. I'm uh, accustomed to actually getting some options around here. Not only swiping around, maybe stuff like uh, the clarity, stuff like the brightness and uh, the page number and other things like that oh here we go these are the options I was looking for so you can skip some pages you can see the settings area like a fixed orientation animation page sliding effects brightness there's a night mode you can play with the fonts you can also uh, tweak the edges change the font as I said to bigger or smaller and once again play with the brightness to make the e-reading experience ideal this also serves as the way to get uh, books from this store so they're divided into education, fiction, uh, poetry let's see poetry uh, they're localized in case you're wondering so they're Romanian if you're into Romanian art there's also a Bob Dylan book right here you can buy them add them to your cart and then read them with this Evo book application that I'm just leaving right now 
Okay, other than the Google Maps and EvoBook, we got um, Kingsoft Office that will uh, provide your office needs of viewing files like Excel files or Word files. And then we got GPS. If I remember well, I've shown you this GPS app before. It's called the Mireo GPS application. And it will advise you to buy a map, but this is how the application looks basically. So this is still you have to pay. This is what you see that you have to pay. Then you get some streets lined up here. It's not much of a GPS application, but I guess it will have to do. Okay, so let's see what we have here. It's an app called Daily Roads Voyager. I bet that it has to do with that kit that comes with the tablet, the one that allows you to film your driving experience while you're behind the wheel. It also comes bundled with a CNOW application to watch TV shows online. And uh, let me tweak the brightness yet again. Of course, there's an e-manual bundled here. We got Chrome included. And uh, let's say uh, online press application. Not much stuff bundled, I have to say that. There could have been a bit more. And there's a brand new Google Settings app that appeared all of a sudden these days. So you can see it right here, Google Settings. I bet that all of you have it right now. Okay, obviously we got the usual multitasking. A lot of multitasking, as you can see. And usually we have the apps and widget section. And also you can see the expanded notification area that was brought by Jelly Bean. And that should be about it. Obviously we also have Google Now, as I shown you earlier. And I'm trying to trigger right now. Here it is, Google Now. And in the settings area, one more thing to show you. Okay, we have some HDMI settings. You can turn on HDMI, changes the resolution and the screen zooming. So if you want to play with the HDMI, that's just fine. I must mention one more thing. I played the game Real Racing 3 on this tablet and it worked like a charm. No problems whatsoever. Still a dual core CPU with a very good GPU that scored a lot of frames per second in Nanomark 2. So it's actually a good tablet, a jelly bean tablet, cheap jelly bean tablet, affordable one with an 8 inch display. And now times, uh, it's time for the conclusion folks, the pros and cons. Well the pros, 5 years of warranty, jelly bean, the price tag of this tablet is actually pretty affordable. It's a bit over $200 and the good benchmarks are a reason to buy it, good CPU, good GPU, good audio quality. And as a bonus, you get that memory card, some books from the Evo Book application, very good brightness of the screen, and those are the pros. And now the cons, the tablet gets overheated at the back, it's already very hot in this area, not exaggeratedly hot, but a bit hot. The plasticky case, maybe in the con side, the fact that it's a bit bulky, may also set you back. The vibrating back when you listen to music, and the fact that the buttons feel like they're going inside. Also, the view angles could be better and the battery takes a long time to charge. So those are the negative aspects. Overall, the grade will be pretty good considering the price. We give it an 8 for design, 8 out of 10. For the hardware, let's give it a 9 out of 10 since after all the CPU and GPU are very good. We have enough memory and the display is decent. Finally, for the operating system and user interface, a surprise, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's Jelly Bean, it's stock, it hasn't been customized. We have a bunch of bundled apps for GPS and traffic recording, so it deserves a 10 for software. Total grade, 9 out of 10 from us, from tabletnews.com, for this affordable 8-inch tablet with Jelly Bean. So that's it, folks. This is tabletnews.com. Hope you like the review of the Evolio Aria Mini. Bye-bye.